I tell you what we need. Actually, we're going to get military training because as good as extra immunities are, I need raid as soon as I can. I need to start stealing gold in large fashion. But look, Bastion, that gives me plus five combat strength for my city ranged attacks, which is really handy at getting rid of these stubborn, stubborn boats. Yeah, please. Why don't you get lost? Just going to have to switch some units around to get some good combat bonus. One attack from a two promoted unit. Two attack. And then we'll pull in Polar Walla Bear and send in the galley. Bam. City taken. And it's all already loyal it's already loyal oh my lord okay how much do i need to send to the letter to get the letter back i can send only a single envoy and i reclaim them that is amazing because that now means i can go over to this captured city and immediately raise a wall which means that now i have combat strength and now we can send our droman in and in my own time yeah i know goal i know it's not nice i can send all of my units in and get the kill after kill after kill to try and just spread my religion as much as i can this this is a beachhead. This is a beachhead in Crimea. Can I pull this advantage out? If we can take over Scythian lands with my northern fleet, my lord, I'm going to feel better about this whole thing. And actually, I'm going to move over Moksha so that all of my troops can heal in one turn. That would be handy. Otherwise, it's Greece and Macedon I'm going after next. Well, better move my units around and uh, start doing that. Let's just steal this uh, builder. Thank you. Corinth looks like it's got very weak walls. Matthew Wilkinson wants a load of this. Spain, someone new. Oh my lord, salt wine amber oh spain you are uh, you light my fire one two three i'll even trade you for some incense go on then I'm, I'm a lovely person bam everyone's ecstatic again <laughs> we've actually managed to trap a scythian unit here that's quite fun because that means we have another target to spread my religion and guess who's gonna help with that it's super stevo you and the other named units like skeptical bear polar wola bear even zaf come in spread religion oh i i, I, I want to see i want to see make up how many followers are there to my religion two versus three we're getting so close now well I, I don't think it's going to take many unit kills to spread this further i really do not think and retainers as useful as you are here's raid raid is my favorite card it really is actually well, total war might be a little bit better but it's it's up there well here come the tagma there's a horrible river crossing here that's going to stop me from moving in as quick as i'd like to but i think we shouldn't have a problem in the long run matthew wilkinson opens up the bomb Bombard of Corinth. There we go. Hoping this should be a fairly little easy naval invasion. I planned for this for some time. This is this is a recipe that I have been brewing for an extended period. The Tagma took a whole 12 damage from that city attack. 12. <laughs> <laughs> okay okay that's not so bad now unfortunately my dromans seem to be taking over half health even though they're in crusade territory that's not nice we're gonna need a land army to push further into Savia, but this this little beachhead this is gonna be really helpful i i am enjoying this castles my horsemen can now get upgraded as well that's brilliant neapolis has just fallen not their capital though oh sorry not the capital what am i talking about their religious holy city that's what we're after Corinth's walls are gone. Matthew Wilkinson strikes again. I'm not going to take this city just yet, but I'm almost there. I'm almost at the point that I want to. I think I've got to take Keller at the same time just to get the loyalty pressure I need to keep it. That's my instinct anyway. Eleanor of Aquitaine. I might play a little bit of a mini game this game. What I'm going to do is because great works can often slow down a game. Well, seemingly it's a bit of a bug at the moment where the more great works you have, the slower your game gets. And I'm going to be playing quite wide. Any great work I can, I'm going to sell to Eleanor. She can keep for me and you know with the court of love currently at four cities and 21 pop if that was to accidentally you know take over the world well do we really mind <laughs> <laughs> no. So we've unlocked castles. Excellent. What more do we need? Well, that's a very strong cavalry unit. We've got two cavalry units. I just need support equipment now. First of all, let's unlock harbors. We can fix the ones we've stolen. Then we'll get currency. Then we'll get engineering to unlock catapults. Like my tech at the moment is pretty poor. 15 techs versus Poland's 31. Oh no, they have over double the tech I have. <laughs> I will improve my religion at some point, and I think that will help, but yeah, that's not good. Roads flips. Every time I see this, I get a little more excited, because I'm like, oh, is it the time? Have we finally taken the holy city? No, no, we haven't, but maybe, maybe Zaf will do it. No, not quite, but we, we hope, we hope, we wait, we scheme every turn, and all the while, we promote RB Hedge. Join the massed ranks. It's a glorious company indeed. It really is. Raid and a harbor. 250 gold. Hey. 
Hey, that's not bad. How much does a Tagma cost if I just buy one outright? 880 gold. That's what we're saving up for now. If I can pick up a Tagma over in this direction, that's going to massively help my little invasion. Starting to do damage to Pella, but Tagma are not just going to be able to jump in without a position here. This is, this is quite a dangerous attack, but I am starting to push on different fronts now. Slowly, slowly does it. And the more I bring units in, the more we can start to flank, the more I can just change my operating technique a little bit and crusade. It all helps. And don't forget, I've only got taxes plus three at the moment. As soon as we can take this off Scythia, oh, I just, I feel my strength is going to grow even more. Oh my word, that's an actual peace deal. Oh, Scythia, not the one I want peace from, but if people like Poland start offering me peace, that's what I might be tempted with. Olbia now flips. Come on, stop teasing me. Give me what I want. <laughs> You know you want to. Really starting to put the pressure on Scythia now. Yeah, your city attacks are dangerous and scary, but my navy is even more dangerous and even more scary. Hungary is still sending troops one by one down this river. Why? Don't do that. And Germany, like, just don't get involved. Come on, Pete. No. As soon as this emergency disappears, then we'll get peace. But it's just like, come on, this is not a fight for you. You don't need to be involved here. Half health on Pella. Oh, it's tough. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, just keep throwing your troops in. Throw your troops in. One after another, after another, after another. Right, Moksha is now established. That means that any boat or any unit, that will all heal to full, I think, every turn. It may not actually happen this turn because I'm only just getting established, but still, this is a really nice thing to have established as a foothold in Scythian lands. When you defend with Byzantium, you got to make sure that you don't actually get any unit kills if you can help it with your city strikes, just weaken units. That way, you can still spread religion because it's actually units of the only things that can spread religion like that. Come on, spread it to the holy city. Why haven't you fallen yet? Pretty sure they're just spamming missionaries there to stop it from falling, which 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 makes sense, you know? Have I finally saved up enough? I have. I have. It's a tagma. Time to attack on land. <laughs> Spain just casually sat around with 73 garrison strength in Barcelona. <laughs> we don't think about the scary European powers. No, 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 no. It's, um, it's not what we do. We we live in something called, um, and let me just check my notes on this, healthy denial. Yes, that's what it is. Healthy denial. Palace walls are down. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Here we go. Here we go. We're starting to get somewhere now. We don't mind this at all. Still killing units. Still haven't converted Scythia. <laughs> the wall's down in this city now. That's a wonderful thing. I think my Tagma is just going to have a little bit of an investigation. What's going on over here? This is their city and somehow it still is nowhere near near being converted. Luckily, it looks like there's a bunch of units back here. Okay, we can have some fun. Grenada being killed. Well, let's turn attention away from that temporarily. <laughs> Don't need to get involved. I think it's about time we improve my religion as well. Let's get an apostle and see what promotions we can get next turn because right now we have 30 cities and 129 population following my religion. That seems pretty good. I like that. Oh yeah, here we go. Starting to panic now. We're even faith pillaging now. Getting the Kills. Oh, come on. Come on. Just give in to me. Do we just take Pella? Do we just take Pella here? Or do I try and pillage everything? You can see there is a lumber mill. There's an aqueduct. Speed or gold? Speed or gold? Speed or gold? Actually, this kind of is dictated by what happens with my religion. 120 something followers, 31 cities. Now, don't forget, we pretty much have free choice over what we go for here. Church property would be worth something like 75 gold per turn at the moment. No, even more than that. I apologize. 93 gold per turn. Charitable missions would give me a bigger lump sum every time I convert it with a religious unit, but it doesn't work with Byzantium's ability, nor does the culture or science bombs. We can't do that. Two gold for every four followers. So if I had 200 and what did I say? It's like 120, wasn't it? So it'd only be worth about 60 gold per turn. I don't think that's worth it. I could get culture and science as well, but I think I can pillage that. I just need a steady economy. Anything that'll help to get me extra units. Now, pilgrimage wouldn't be a bad idea, actually. 60 something faith per turn. If I got the Grand Master's Chapel, I could start praying in units. But the thing I like about gold is I can use it to buy entertainment complex buildings. So I think that's the way I'm going to go. Church property. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. I think this is going to sort my economy out. Yeah. Okay. We've gone to about a hundred gold per turn. Brilliant. But I think I will pillage. I think I'm going to pillage everything because I think in the long run that will help me out. Second city we could take if we want to. And I do think we want to. Let's just take the city now. Put a little bit more pressure 
pressure on Scythia. Oh, I feel like on this northern front, we finally made a bit of a breakthrough. There's enough Droman here to really unleash a bit of damage and actually feed the world in this city should kick in and this city should grow pretty quickly. No one's very happy. I have a lot of war weary in us. Minus seven. <laughs> Pretty painful, but all my cities back home are really happy because they're full of hippos. Ah yes, why need anything in life when you can just celebrate with hippos? Oh, even Mushkin is now getting in on Pella. I have a bunch of units that are ready to do some pillage. Actually, is this lumber mill even in Pella? It is, yes. So I might take Corinth. I might just take Corinth here, you know. This wouldn't be the worst place in the world. Loyalty will be a bit of a problem, but not the worst problem I've ever had. Meanwhile, I think Athens is next on the menu. Matthew Wilkinson, can you lead us? small incursion into Athenian territory for me. Thank you. There's Fez. Maybe I could get some science from spreading my religion, but again, not really using missionaries. Missionaries isn't my style this game. I do need a government plaza though. I probably should focus on getting a government plaza soon. I just need a little bit of gold to buy some more tiles in Constantinople. But yeah, like I feel like this front is now looking a little more favorable towards me. Pella should give me the loyalty to hold on to Corinth, I hope. Or at least if it doesn't, it gives us another opportunity opportunity of access to other cities. That'll be cool. Oh, shush, Spain, it's fine. I'm sweet. I'm Ursa Ryan. I mean nothing but love and peace. I'm, if anything, I'm trying to unify Greece. Isn't that a lovely thing to do? Matthew Wilkinson, unleash hell. Ha ha ha. Okay, right, Athens, we're now starting to hit. And now we do a little bit of double pillage. There's one there, there's two there, and as much as I'd like to take the aqueduct out, I don't want to leave it too long because more troops are arriving. They're being really annoying. I don't want to lose any of my units. So there we go. Pella is taken. Another capital falls. Cartography, military engineering, civil engineering, ironworking. Oh my lord. And I've even got a builder ready to go to start repairing this area. Oh, it's wonderful. How's Corinth doing now? Corinth is loyal. Of course it is. Right. Alexandria looks like a pretty good target. We might head in this direction now. But Greece's cities are super weak. So I might just skirt around and see if we can hit these quickly. Courses, courses. Oh yeah, some really good upgrades now. Speaking of, I think I fancy some crossbows at some point. We'll get iron working quickly just to fill in that gap, our uh, mathematics. Then we'll go machinery. And we can start thinking about maybe upgrading our boats. I quite like the idea of having a more powerful northern navy, although the Black Sea and many other targets. George is very difficult to attack with their walls and mountains, and the Ottomans are my friends. So I think the navy is actually going to come down, try and clear out Greece, and maybe even go for Egypt. I think Egypt would be an amazing target for Byzantium, but we'll see. Well, we'll get to that when we get to it, you know? Preslav grows to 10 population. I didn't have Preslav down as my biggest city, but hey, Constantinople will have to take a back seat, and that is absolutely fun. I killed that caravan finally. Oh, thank goodness. That thing was so annoying. Polish cavalry. Oh, delightful. <laughs> I'm, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. God, there's just a never ending like influx of units. There's Hungarian black armies on the way now. Oh my goodness. Just why don't, why don't everybody just charge a little bit less? Let's just calm down. Let's, let's just calm down. I, I think calming down sounds great. Right. We're back into crusade land. Our courses can come in and do huge damage. Still spreading our religion around. The whole of Greece follows my religion. It's ready to go. It wants Byzantium in its life. I totally get that. I understand that. And now we have a second Tagma up in the north as well, which means we can go after this city. Tell you what though, that would be cool if this Corsa, if you don't mind just embarking yourself, I like the sound of that. We're just getting cheeky kills on units as well that Saivia keeps sending my way. This is wonderful. Actually, you know what? Moksha. Moksha is useful, but I'm going to send you back down to the other front line now. Pella, I think will do so that I can start healing my units in another direction. Level two Archer. Mixomatosis. To the front line you come. I tell you what, Greece's cities are weak in one way, but tough in the other. They just absolutely wrecked a Corsa. One crossbow and two city centers killed it, even with Crusade. <laughs> I need more taxes. Oh, 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 they attacked me with a warrior. Did you see that? They've just spread it to their own city. Oh, what did I say? We needed more taxes. We've now picked up another plus three combat. We're on plus six. That's a huge change. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, I feel so much better now. <laughs> <laughs> I've been working off plus three this entire game because yes, there's loads of religions in the game, but nobody that I'm fighting has one. Oh dear, but that is wonderful. We have plus six. It's wonderful. I don't even need to really continue my war against Savia right now because all I was going for was their religion, but that's it. Our Davda, it's gone. It's out. It's, it's absolutely just disappeared. Now we have two Tagma fighting with Crusade in close combat with each other. Yeah, okay. Now I think I will continue this war 
war. Something tells me this war will be very profitable indeed. Let's go and capture... How many cities have you got? Six more cities in the north. <laughs> the Byzantine Empire. Finally, finally we have something to fight with. Another Droman joins the party on the Hungarian front. This is a dangerous and deadly front indeed. Garrett Gowan. We, we, we've got a problem. We've got a problem and that problem is just an absolute influx of units. I mean, our religion is spread so strongly here. That's 6,000 strength in a okay, game, but I mean, oh no, this is this is not good. I tell you what, I'm feeling threatened enough that I'm tempted to pray uh, medieval walls in here just so this city doesn't fall. This is the bastion, the bastion of all hope here. I need reinforcements. I need to fill this river with Droman and nothing more. Oh, I do love it when you leave units just on the coast for me. <laughs> this is where Dromans are so powerful. Everywhere I go, the Ottomans are just nibbling away at all of the buildings. <laughs> Such pillage economy. I love it. Actually, shall I, shall I send my navy towards Hungary via the Danube? I don't know we're really going to get a huge amount of purchase here because a lot of cities are too far back from the river. I think a land army might be what we need in that direction. But yeah, it's a fun idea. Oh no, we lost a Droman. Oh no, that was one of the named units. Who was it? I wish it told you the name when they died. It would be so useful. Let's quickly get production on units because we can outbuild anybody. We are much more determined on that front. And I'm going to ban profits because everyone bans profits. Not that it's really what we need. We're just going in with the World Congress on that one. And ideally, yeah, there we go. We want as many religions in the game as possible, but it's just what happens. 11 religions made at the moment. And I'm wondering, where are the closest ones that we could now go and conquer? Poland's got one. Egypt's got one. And Arabia, Netherlands. It's basically in Europe and over in Egypt. Which Egypt is it, though? Rakadet. Oh, here. This is a holy city. Okay, right. We know where my name is. He's going after we're done with Scythia. <laughs> that's, that's obvious. Meanwhile, I might as well just get a tiny bit of pillaging done here because these are going to disappear as soon as we are done and bam, the city falls. Isn't it beautiful? It's very beautiful. I think looking at my list, I think, and I might be wrong, it was Clint. Clint was the one that was killed by this quadrarium. No, don't worry. I will honor your name, Clint. I'm going to rename the city in your honor. Clint's last stand. No one will break this city. This is a immovable movable might of the Byzantine Empire. We will be the bulwark against every incursion from the West. We're finally pillaging yields. That's a huge amount of culture. Excellent stuff. Yeah, we're starting to get a little bit of success in our conquest now. I actually declare war on other Greece just to unify everything at the same time. How many cities have you got? Only two still. So we haven't gone onto the Greek islands. I don't mind the AI settling out for me a little bit here. Kind of do the work for me. Why bother making settlers when everyone just makes them for you, you know? That's the thing to remember. Two kills, bam, more religion spreading. Excellent. And yep, the navy's gonna go down. Egypt is my next target. Why not? Dream big. That's what I say. Dream big. You know, Lisbon is looking decidedly Spanish. <laughs> Spain, have you been unifying Iberia again? I think you have, you cheeky little thing. 15 cities. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Final city captured Lisbon. I've got grievances against them. That's not often you see that. Oh, Greece has just decided to make a caravel. Okay, that's not good. Uh, Egypt, yeah, you can denounce me. That's fine. I won't uh, make you regret that one. No, 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 no. Not at all. How much army have you got? Oh, quite a bit. Good to know. This peace deal would really be an economy starter, but I think I'm just going to take all your cities. That would be equally fun for me. Amazingly, even even though Spain has gone on a massive conquering spree, I actually have the same score as Vedi. Poland is winning by a long way. How are you winning so much? That military emergency is good. We'll make a piece of a load of people. Yeah, how are you winning so heavily, Poland? What are you doing? Big empire score, big era score, lots of tech, lots of wonders. Wow. Yeah, Poland. Poland might be very, very nice conquering land. That is a 12 science campus. I think that's going to be six adjacency. Oh, we like that. I'm not even going to pillage that one. I think I'm going to take that directly. Alexandria falls. Another city falls to me. Yes, our empire's looking a little meatier now. Just a little bit. Just a, just a smidge. Just have a turn of healing and then we will move on. 900 military strength. I'm building, I'm building, I'm building. We're just not letting any of our units die. And wars of religion. Now, this won't be necessarily useful against everyone, but it is quite useful against people with a religion like Poland. We'll keep an eye out for it. Might be handier than you think. Poland Poland is offering me money for peace. This is the sort of deal we want. Yes, let's get rid of some war weariness and let's get some luxury trades going. England just wants my diplo favor. I mean, 
thing. You can have my Diplo favor, maybe, but I was going to sell it off in one big go. I love the fact that AI just keeps throwing units at me and I just keep getting big religious spreads. <laughs> it's like, okay, Georgia wants peace. Excellent. There's a lot of Diplo favor sales we can do here, but I'm reluctant to sell it to people where they're not going to give me straight up gold. The main reason for this is that I just feel like with the amount of cities we're taking, we're going to trigger emergencies left, right, and center. So I'm going to sell it in batches of 30. I want upfront gold. As soon as I go for a big like 80 gold per turn deal, I just know there's going to be an emergency and then they'll declare against me and it'll be like, oh, come on. All right, we've got to, ooh, 2,000 gold out of that. <laughs> Okay. Oh, I like that. That's wonderful. Oh, we can work with that. Also, I think I don't actually know the answer to this. Does the Tagma boost the Droman? No, it doesn't. Oh, that's a shame. <laughs> I wondered if that would work. Never mind. Next city. Eight population. And it follows my religion. Oh, would you look at that? What convenience. What wonder. And I don't think we're going to have much problem just shredding the walls here. Going to balance pillaging and just moving forward as quickly as possible. I'm not sure which is the better option here. Incoming Tagma attack. Greece is producing quite the army now. I think they're army spamming with the World Congress. But as I say, I don't mind if the world is building more military units. That's how I spread my religion. That is literally the one thing I want them to do. <laughs> <laughs> they like they think they're helping themselves. They're not. They're very much not. It is all very much part of my plan. Right, Matthew Wilkinson makes the attack and Athens falls and I get another couple of districts. Yeah, I'm not pillaging everything. I'm aware of this. We get enough. We get enough. No canal through. I think we're going to have to declare war on Greece now. So let's see what my military ally wants to do. Gorgo? Yes. Now the Ottomans might look to grab these cities for themselves. So I've got to be a little bit quick. I don't mind a bit of competition for something fun. In fact, actually, their boats are already everywhere. Hey, I managed to just bait this Scythian settler into going into the sea. <laughs> just moved a galley backwards and forwards out of their uh, line of vision, and I've got the settler. Amazing. I haven't really settled very much in this game. Like, my settler cost is, is ridiculously low because I just haven't bothered. I say haven't bothered. We, we've had no opportunity to. Oh, don't leave settlers in the sea. Come now. Just a little bit of casual pillage because, of course, that's what we do on an average evening in Byzantium. Pillage. Beautiful. Beautiful to see. Greece's crossbow army. It's pretty brutal. But the more I get barding and things like that, the, the more upgrades we're picking up. I'm, I'm looking okay. I don't mind this sort of assault. As I say, more units mean more religious spread in the long run. It all works out. Oh, as soon as I get a depredation courser, that will be something that I can look forward to royally. What we need to do now is just move my combat units towards Sparta as quickly as I can. I want to take this city. I want to get rid of all of these units as quickly as possible. Crusade is helping a lot with that endeavor. I need more iron as well. Only four coming in per turn is really, really low. The Northern Fleet is making it through the Strait of Constantinople. Excellent. Head south, dear friends, head south. There is an Egypt to conquer. Oh, I think I lost my galley to this hurricane. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's unfortunate. No more exploring for me. Greece is offering me a lot. <laughs> a lot. But that's okay. I'm going to take a lot from them. Unfortunately, these two cities are really difficult to get to. And yeah, the crossbow spam is real. But they're having to move their crossbows into my land to attack me. As soon as they do, my droman can just fire over the top and kill them. So it's not a problem. As annoying as crossbows are, they can't hit ships very well. You get a huge minus 17 penalty and I get plus 10. So the difference is quite dramatic. Reformed church. It's not not a bad idea. I could go for a faith discount later. I'm not going to go for it right now. You know when you've got a builder on a tile and you just put something, we have just fixed that tile and it floods immediately. It's like, stop it game. Stop it. Military emergency. Philip has captured Lisbon. We could join in with that one if we want to reset our relations with a lot of people, but I don't know if I want to. We'll see. See how that one goes. It's another city from Savia though. What you gonna do? Nothing. Oh, annoyingly, they've already got a hippodrome down in the city, but not annoyingly, they haven't put an arena in it. So there you go. Three unit. And it had a stable in this city. Oh, even better. Valletta just praying in walls. Every time I do it, I just, it's just so useful. Another settler for me? Oh, thank you. And actually I took over a builder, which they're going to have no choice but to move the trebuchet over and recapture. I say no choice. AI cannot resist a three unit like that. They, they just can't. It's impossible. Oh, and in the sea, another hero emerges. <laughs> it's Clint reborn. Version two. Boogaloo. <laughs> I refuse to let my channel supporters die. We should just start a count. How many times can I kill you over and over and over accidentally? I'm sure it's fine. 
I'm sure, I'm sure people don't mind. We're over a thousand military strength, by the way. Still building our way out of every problem. And do we go printing into plus three combat strength? That would be tempting. But I think I'm going to go apprenticeship first and then unlock universities. That would be the quicker way of doing things. Our stats are beginning to increase because we are stealing useful things like plus three campuses, plus six campuses. If the cities are becoming loyal, we're getting a lot more yield. Speaking of conscription, don't need that anymore. Our religion is making up for that. Maritime industry is doing a lot of work for me here. Raid is good. I think I'm going to switch over to natural philosophy because we are taking a lot of campuses now. Yeah, our science is beginning to increase pretty quickly. Government plaza, complete. Quickly, get the warlord's throne. There is no other choice in this game. It's got to be warlord's throne. Researcher, it's a nice extra chunk of science, up to 82 per turn. Hey, that's actually almost bordering on respectable. <laughs> <laughs> I use almost very carefully there. Oh, hello. There's a lot of resistance in this place. Hmm. We're going to need more army. We're going to need a bigger gun. That settler was very handy. Thank you. Military emergency. Eh, Athens. I guess that gives me a bit of loyalty, but this is the one we really want. Religious emergency. How it's supposed to work. <laughs> and I say this every single time this comes up. How it's supposed to work is if I win it, if I keep my religion inside this city, which should be fairly easy to do, I get a burst of pressure from that city hitting every single adjacent city. That's how it should work. However, the way the game is coded, that religious bomb applies to any time I gain a city, including cities I gain at war. So every time I take a city, I will religion bomb, which just doubles up with Byzantium's ability. So we're hoping that doubles up really nicely. Now, unfortunately, with a double emergency, we might find the world is going to go to war with me again, which is a bit annoying because I just got my happiness and my economy sorted out. Oh yeah, this, um, this feels pretty bad. We've met actually the other people on the map. Babylon, Persia, Gilgabro. Maybe, maybe Gilgabro will like me. I don't know. It's very late in the game and there's a lot of negatives here. So we'll see if they receive friendship from me. Now, this is a bit scary because Babylon, every time we find Babylon, normally they are very, very far ahead. Who's joined in here? Poland has joined in. Rome has joined in. Georgia has joined in. Spain. That's really annoying. Venetia. Oh, that's bad for Valletta and Ludwig as well. Oh, they've all gone back to war with me. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, at least we've, we've got a little bit of luxury selling we can make with these new people. Just give it a try. Let's just give it a try. Yay, Gilgabro! Oh, I should never have doubted you. What about Babylon? Nope. Persia? Nope. Oh, we only needed one friend. We only needed one friend. We'll go for a research alliance because why not? Babylon's on 59 tax. <laughs> Okay, yeah, Babylon's doing as well as we've seen them play in this game. Um, yeah, <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what we can do in this particular situation. How's science going? Are they are they on something crazy? They've got rocketry and satellites and nanotech. Oh, fun, fun, fun. Hey, you know what? We wanted a challenge and a challenge we are receiving. I think peace, uh, peace locked with Poland. Poland wasn't able to actually follow through on the emergency pledge there. They wanted to go to war with me, but they couldn't. That is very handy and I don't mind that at all. Savia's religion still lives on in Seven Brothers. Dear, oh dear, we can't have that, can we? We're gonna have to do something about that. I'm sure we'll figure something out. Education and buttress found in a tribal village. That's amazing. Man, this warrior just managed to go to Brittany and found all of that. Like, why have you not done this tribal village, France? I know you don't want to go anywhere near Bradford. I understand that, but that's ridiculous. Will I find diplomatic service within this theatre square? Oh, you know what I did? Just sort of yoinking diplomats out from from their desks like hey come with me do you mind just uh just coming this way thank you so i'm gonna leave this settler here in the hope that i can pull this crossbow out and then my dromans can take a little bit of a parting shot next up education then we'll get printing and then i'm gonna go all the way to frigates my dromans have been amazing but imagine what they could do if they were upgraded i know scary isn't it anytime i can build a hippodrome i'm doing it immediately it's too good not to just three units three units everywhere and and there's the city taken. Sorry, Savia. I just needed to borrow it. That's what this was. Have you got any units left? 158 military strength. They do have units somewhere. We're not sure where they are, but they are around. Let's just run in and see if we can find them. Oh, there's one. There you go. We found a unit. Nobody panic. Thank you for leaving your unit right in the open. I need to get this kill and to spread my religion further. Oh, we actually need a bit more to get my religion into Savia. We've killed all of their units, but none of them were very near the inland cities. 
these. These are all on the coast. Never mind. Oh, is that Poland's border? It is. Oh, so close to greatness. So close. Clint reborn. Two. Boogaloo. Yeah, you can smell it. And the crossbow says, boom. That's good. That's good. We're now pushing in. We're managing to just push these units back a little bit. I need this Greek city. If I can take this one, then I'm in on Argos and we can finally just knock them out of the game. But this is proving tricky at the moment. Oh, that's brutal. I just moved a galley round to take the city on the very cusp of this continent. The Ottomans took it, raised it, and have already put a settler on there. <laughs> <laughs> I told you. I told you. The Ottomans were very keen on getting these sort of southern islands. Never mind. Oh, that is a Hungarian city that's just come to me through loyalty. All right. I will. Yes, I will keep you. And I will pray walls up so that I can start defending the city. And I will immediately start building the Hippodrome just in case. Just in case. I know there's a unit there for now. But I mean, that's not a bad staging point. Now oh, we've finally broken these walls. We might might be in on the Greek city. You never know. You never know. I'd be able to just move my units in here as well. Tagmas are approaching. Get into enemy lands. There we go. We've now got Crusade and bam, we can start taking out units. This is perfect. Where's Warlord's Throne? Three turns away. Come on, Constantinople. I know you've got no production, but I could really use some production right now. I think I can chop out another Tagma here, can't I? Oh, I love when you can do that. They're so cheap. All right. Well, if Sparta's going to be a little bit annoying, the Ottomans are dealing with it. They're settling near it fine my whole navy is going to divert to the egyptian front i say egyptian front there is no egyptian front but what you want you can will into being it's called manifesting you know i want there to be an egyptian front therefore there will be one is this going to go dangerously wrong is egypt likely to be very powerful yeah they're likely to be very very powerful but that's okay doesn't matter we'll be fine probably 440 military strength yeah i want them to have a military that's a good thing a resistance we can use matthew wilkins and can spot that resistance and snipe it. It's going to be glorious. Oh, Saivia, just in a last ditch attempt, is now sending muskets towards me. Man, my Tagmar are good, but they are not that powerful. <laughs> The plus six taxes I'm running at the moment is just enough to defeat the plus six deity plus plus bonus the AI is getting. There's a lot of pluses in that sentence, but you get the idea. I, I'm really not that powerful. We need to take out more religions. That's why the conquest of Egypt is so important here. 2,000 strength on the city center, though, is a tough ask. I don't know if we're going to be able to do that. And yeah, Dido's killed the letter. I was worried that was going to happen. But as soon as they joined the emergency, nothing I could do. Oh, well, we're just going to need a new source uh, for my faith and outlet for all of my religion. I'm sure we'll find one. The golden age is certainly going to help. Let's have a look and see what's going on in the world. Greece is probably the most important and both forms of Greece and Macedon have all gone heroic. Okay, as is Scythia. So we're going to see a lot of additional loyalty pressure here. That's not good. Do I want to spread my religion? I could, I could manually spread my religion? That's not a bad idea. Hicksunk to the Connors. I'm stealing quite a few settlers. That wouldn't be a bad idea just to get a few more luxuries in. Monumentality, we know actually I could be getting builders. Yeah, I should do that because really what the builders are there for are to chop out all of the woods of the cities that I'm conquering in order to then pump more tagma out. That's probably the way that I'm going to get the most out of this, I think. Well, we'll see if that pays true. Let's see what the loyalty is like. You can see we've got a tiny bit of a problem up north. Gyor is just going to go. Yeah, that's fine. But we, we, we took that city as a 3B. Corinth, not doing great. Alexandria, but okay. Well, otherwise, we're fine. So loyalty-wise, I'm not suffering any true problems. Here. This crossbow with Crusade is attacking with 70 strength now. Look at this. It's like a little tactical missile. Bam! Tell you what, one good thing about having the Ottomans on side, they are a very cheap source of iron. They're digging so much out of the ground, the AI doesn't value it at all. Be tons of iron in that area. I think I do remember it being there. That means we can afford to build more Tagma. We've got five charge builders on the way now. We are now printing them a little quicker. So I think as long as we outproduce, we win. It's just a case of trying to outproduce because at the moment, yeah, we are still getting 50% cost. So we can chop Tagma so quickly. I can afford to be a little bit more brutal with my assaults here, you know, although actually that's just an instant kill. Maybe not that one. Maybe not that one. Maybe we're just attacking unit instead. But everywhere that I'm building Tagma, like in Pella, for instance, I'm going to print a builder and help me just to chop it out quickly. Athens, nothing to chop there. We'll keep an eye out. We'll keep an eye out. There's going to be loads of stuff to chop if you look for it. Ah, uh, yeah, Buttress, Cartography's 
square I'm just gonna go square rigging. I need better boats. Like we need to tech up. There's too many very powerful units just ticking along here. I, I don't wanna don't wanna have to fight all of this stuff. I could make peace with Hungary, maybe. What would I get from a peace deal if I gave you back the city that I got loyalty-wise? If I gave you Gyor, what would you pay for that? Quite a lot, you know. And the Philosopher's Stone. Ooh. They'll give me their entire gold per turn. Oh, I like that. I'm gonna just yeah, I'm gonna take a peace with Hungary. They are throwing so many units at me. It's stopping my assault on Macedon. So I've given them that city back. I was never going to keep that. I got a huge economic boost from it. Now we can just redeploy my troops. Make sure we can unify Greece. I really want to do this quickly. Take out Macedon. And then maybe we can go for Rome before we attack Hungary. I mean, we are playing Byzantium. I need to occupy and take Rome. That That is like the ultimate aim, right? I'm going to give the Philosopher's Stone straight to Eleanor of Aquitaine. This is, this is what I'm going to do with all of my great things. Yeah, yes. Just I want the Court of Love firing. I want chaos on the Western Front. How many cities have you currently got? Five. Oh, it's getting better. You never know. You never know what might happen. Greece is feeling a little bit confident with its army because they've got a couple of my units quite low and they can see kills because of that. They're letting themselves into, well, not very favorable positions and I'm able just to poach units here and there and that is incredibly useful. Look at this. You have left yourself open. Okay, this Tagma is pretty injured. This one's pretty injured. A lot of my units are pretty injured, but yeah, look at this. We're doing well. We're doing well. Oh, I can tell you what, that privateer can go away. But reinforcements, you say? <laughs> hey, we're chopping these out pretty heavily now. More reinforcements, of course. One attack and two attack. Come on, spread it to seven brothers. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Oh, no, that's one city. We'll get that. We'll find a way. We always find a way. And finally, a very special shout out goes to Glorious Petra, Matthew Wilkinson, Paul Coffey, Portland, Clint Hennis, Scott Stratton, Major King Kong, Skeptical Bear, Cinnamon Beard, Petra Ryan, Radiatore, Private Selection, Genoa Salami, Callum Billy, Garrett Gowan, Polar Bear Ray, El Truant, Creston, RB Hedge, Mushkin Mandeltort, Diebel Time, Burial, I'm Daft, Gooberman, Dr. Bobby, Polar Waller Bear, Mixamatosis, NTG Golfman, Victor McPupster, Indigenous 68, Technology Poet, Teddy Zersa, Zaf, Barnaby Rex, Sharky Bates, Charlie Bears, Flying Dutch Burbs, Nate the Great, Alex Frost, Joseph Bianconi. Thank you everyone for your support. See you all in the next video. Goodbye.